Christ. God has been there even before they see all this thing that we see. The entire universe, before universe, there was God. But description of this God is what gives us this inferiority complex. The description of that power that we need to hear from someone. Someone has to describe this God. That's where we have a problem. Because the power of wind has been with us. It didn't come with the Europeans. The power of the sun has been with us. It never came with the colonizers. The power of the seas has been there all along. It shows that God has been existing. It is the way we understand him that confuses us here. It is the way we understand God that is making us to be pretending in our livelihoods. It is the way we understand that is making us to live as second class citizens because we have forgotten our roots and we are following the roots of other people. That is a myth. What do I mean if I say it's a myth? Those of you that are educated, you have been educated by Western education or Eastern education or whatever education you learned from outside Africa. They will, you will never come and give us evidence that after reading their Bible deeper to the end, one of you met this power of heaven. Even though that reads the Quran, even if you can school in their deeper schools, deeper colleges, you will never come and tell us that you have met that power. It's still a myth. Just a belief. But I'll tell you something about Africa. In Africa, my own mother, my own father taught me that whenever we wanted rain in those years, and she's talking about 1920s, 20s, 30s, 35, 40s, because it happened to my mother, it happened to my father. Whenever there was no rain, they could blue beers and these traditional beers they go into the mountain where there's a big tree they talk to their ancestors and their ancestors could give them the rain and they say when they were talking to their ancestors under the tree they were looking up to the power of the wind which is God Bef when before they finish their prayers and offering the beers and traditional beers and whatever they blew, they were coming with whatever they were asking. If it was rain, they were coming wet into their homes, answered, on the spot. We were even told that if there was a plague, a pandemic that we call a pandemic nowadays, they used the same go into the mountains, go into the big stones up there and seek the power of God through the ancestors that heal us, we are dying. There is a pandemic, there is a plague you. And leprosy disappeared. Jiga disappeared. Some of the other diseases that we don't know disappeared. Now, I have heard two issues here that President of Tanzania told his country that he is not going to hold a lockdown but he said he was going to hold three days of prayer in the mountains. Last week, we reported here that Tanzania has lost from coronavirus, from COVID-19 disease, only 21 if it's not 39 people. The population of Tanzania is 59 million, exactly the same of the population of South Africa. The infection of people is not more than 5,000 people that have been affected by this pandemic. This man, John Pombe Magufuli, believed that there is power above that can heal each and every pandemic. Again, we hear, we hear that the new president of Malawi, Lazarus Chagwela, has ordered his country for a three-day fasting. We are yet to see, and there is no question the answer will come. The power of creation and of nature will answer this question. Will answer to these prayers. 
Now, we always pretend as Africans, we pretend we believe that God that we know is this one that came with the Bible. God that we know is this one that came with the Quran. But that is a pretension. That's a pretense we are pretending. God has always been in Africa because we are the creator of mankind. God has been in Africa and he will heal each and every disease. This is coinciding with the pandemic that we are facing in Africa today, the COVID-19. COVID-19 has devastated, is going to devastate, it will devastate the entire history of livelihood in the universe. Because this disease has come to change everything that we believed. This disease has come to change everything we have known. And is telling us that tomorrow you never know what will happen because you never plan for it. The question marker is we have had HIV, we have had cholera, we have had Ebola, and we have malaria that has killed many more than the COVID-19 itself. The question is why there's too much alarm on COVID-19? And why there are different statements about this pandemic? Because this organization will tell you this today on how you can prevent it. Another organization will come and change that. These scientists will tell you how you can prevent this today. Tomorrow they'll come and say, no, that's not the way you have to do this. The governments of Africa are compulsory. Let me say the world's government, the whole globe governments. Compulsory they are demanding that you must use a mask. The question is, we were told this pandemic was transferable through saliva, so there should be a social distance because once there's a contact, then you get the disease. Three, four days, 15 degrees later, we are told, no, 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 it's not like that. It's in the wind, it's airborne. And we are told recently that it can stay in the air for eight days. Meaning, <laughs> even the, the mask itself is useless. Because we will need this air where this pandemic is to breathe. So even if we close with masks, still we need air. And that is the air that is contaminated. Are we safe? We are not. So what is my point? My point is why are we living in pretense? Why do we pretend in living? Why don't we just follow what is true? Why don't we just follow what is right? By not fearing that because there's a government here that will arrest me by these power people that are going to say what? There is World Health Organization that is going to say without our approval you can't. But I'll say this to Africa. Your life and my life depends on me and my God. Your life and my life depends on yourself and me with our Creator. <coughs> no organization, no institution, no power will come and save our lives. Pretension, pretense, pretending is going to destroy this generation that God loves much. I talked about Tanzania on the mechanism that they use. They put too much of their beliefs in what they believe the most, God, the God of Africa. Led by the president, today less than 50 people are, have died of coronavirus in Tanzania, South Africa. We are talking about three or four thousand people with about hundred thousands that have been affected. And it's very pathetic because some people that are still getting sicker and sicker, they are being denied access because hospitals are now full. And the economy has been closed. The economy has completely been closed. Nothing is moving. But this pandemic, we need our work 
This pandemic, pandemic will need the economy to move so that we can contain this. Without money, we are not going to.